In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to crop and rotate an image inside Photoshop. I'm sitting inside Photoshop, have this image open that's nothing spectacular, just a, an image taken on a vacation. I want to do two things with this. I want to rotate it, it seems to be tilted just a bit, and then also crop it. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way you can do both actions at, at one time. So let me show you that way first. I'm going to grab my crop tool in the toolbar on the left hand side and I'm going to select my crop like so. So I'm taking out the sign and some extraneous around it. I decide I'm going to leave this or the lighthouse in. And then to also rotate it before I crop it, and I could just hit enter or hit this check mark up here in the in the control tab or the control area of, of this tool to accept the crop as is, and I could rotate it after the fact. However, when I show you the next way to do this, you're going to see why I want to do both before I hit or before I accept the crop. So to rotate it before I crop it, I'm going to find some straight line in this image. I'm going to use the bottom of this, this curve here. So when my cursor is outside the crop area, I'm just going to click and drag and kind of make the bottom of this crop parallel to this curb. I'm going to go a little bit more to the right. Something like so. So it's kind of equal distance from the curb to the bottom of this. Now I've hit, hit enter or this check mark up here in the control panel. It crops the, the image as well as rotates it. Let me show you another way of doing that. So that's how you can do it all in one fell swoop. But I was a little iffy there when I was setting the rotation, how much rotation to do. Let me show you another method. I'm going to go back to my the previous version of this. I'm going to go to the file menu, do revert. We'll go back to the last saved version of that image. Let's do it in two steps this time. And I would suggest if you're going to do it in two steps, do the rotate first and then the crop and you'll see why. So do the rotate. I'm going to use the ruler tool. The ruler tool shows up underneath the eyedropper tool in the toolbar. So it's the sixth tool down. Choose the ruler tool. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use a straight line. I'm going to use the bottom of this curve and just click and drag. I'm holding my mouse and go along that straight line and then release the mouse. What that does, it sets an arbitrary um, rotation degrees, if you will. And we're going to use that arbitration setting to do the rotate. Once I've drawn that line, I can now go back to image up in the file menu to image rotation. And the fourth option down here underneath image rotation is arbitrary. It's going to plug in the degrees of that angled line into this angle field. I'm going to click OK and it rotates the image for me. Now I have this wonderful gold background. Because I rotated the image, we have extraneous area now. This area that you see is gold because my background color is gold. I could make that black if I wanted to and be quite so, so extreme. But we're going to crop this so that doesn't really matter anyway. So now I'll go back. Now that I've rotated, I'll go back to my crop tool. Choose the crop I want to use. Click and drag with the crop tool. I can switch or, or change out to these, these handles a, a bit if I want to, to finesse the, the crop itself. When I have that the way I want it, I can hit enter or the check mark up in the control panel to take the crop. So that's how you can do the, the rotate and crop in two steps.